All right, guys, welcome back to another Borderlands 3 video. And in this one, we are going to be going over an awesome build for Amara. As you can see right here, the Siren class has some very interesting skills and attributes. Her action skill is one of the most interesting. I mean, you have like six, I mean, you have like a bunch of fists that you can use. It's pretty crazy, but it does actually uh, work out pretty well. So with that being said, the main focus of today's build is actually going to be dealing increased elemental damage. That is the focus of this build because Amara is very good good at dealing increased elemental damage which can obviously be very very helpful in certain specific fights but I'm also going to be showing you how you can maybe switch that up a little bit if that makes sense it'll make more sense once we actually go through this build but yeah guys if you find this helpful be sure to hit that like button down below it helps me out a ton and without further ado let's jump on into it here so basically the main tree that we're going to be focusing on for this one is the fist of the elements which obviously you know elements has to do a lot with elemental damage which I think is like the best thing to focus on with this character specifically so let's go ahead and equip this one right here right away if you're starting out obviously you want to equip that and it's a skill that works well Amaro summons a giant fist that bursts from the ground and locks the targeted enemy in place for a few seconds and if the enemy can't be grasped like maybe a boss it instead deals damage so it's solid all around and then there's also these ones down here which we'll talk about but we first need to actually get to those so first of all for this um, I would actually recommend going for these if you can get all five of those it's actually pretty solid because as you can see status effects deal increased damage over time and have increased duration and then her action skill status effect deals further increased damage which is very very solid overall especially since that action skill one is like 40 percent and status effect duration is plus 100 that is a very great skill to have and then after that let's move on to these right here so basically i would actually maybe start out with this one if you like getting melee damage it's a fine skill to have you might as well grab it because you get 75 percent increased melee damage and it's also converted Converted to your action skill element which you can actually equip right away right here incendiary damage is very solid a lot of the enemies in the game are weak to incendiary damage so it's a great one to have right there now I would also go ahead and purchase all of these because obviously very straightforward increased elemental damage by 30% and increased shock damage by 20% very great skill all around probably one of the best skills that she has and then you can maybe go ahead and get this one right here it's a single it's a single skill that you can get oh, and also a good thing to note about um, Amara's skill trees is that you're going to be able to put a decent amount of points into two different trees so we'll be going with this one and then also focusing on another tree which you will see coming up here but yeah this skill is very very good because again increased gun damage after grasping an enemy is very solid and then you've also got that instant reloading thing which isn't the craziest but you know might as well grab it and then after that you can go ahead and get like this right away we are gonna later switch that out but it's better than the original one so you know you might as well go ahead and get that one right there and then also you can grab this right here which is an action skill effect might as well get that one because it is actually very good your action skill creates a singularity that pulls in enemies making it very easy to deal damage especially you can like go back and get uh, three of these right here I would only get three because it's an all right skill and uh, I think you'll do fine with 24% chance you don't really need more than that especially if you're damaging a bunch of enemies close together with the singularity you know those extra two points can probably be put to better use elsewhere but it's still very solid these two work together very well after that then I would go ahead and get this one right here which just increases your magazine size by 20% that's solid unless you have a fast reloading weapon and then right here get all three of these as well as you can see Amara's bullets that damage enemies have a chance to ricochet 30% chance once you have it maxed out and they deal damage to uh, other enemies around them but it does deal 50% less but it's still very solid all around especially again when you couple it with the singularity effect and also this one right here if all of those enemies are close together you have a better chance of hitting them with ricochets which works out you know very very well and then after that um this one is okay you can maybe get a few of these but honestly i would go up here and just get one of these because you get an increase to handling and accuracy which aren't the best i'd rather have damage and stuff like that like elemental damage but we needed one more to get down to these skills here so i would actually avoid this one unless you're having trouble with health for the most part if you have a good shield you don't really need something that affects your health too much so go ahead and get this one over here purchase all five of those because it also has to deal with uh, status effects and stuff like that you gain a random chance to deal like a status effect 35% very solid all around and then you can go ahead and get this one at the very bottom which is that your gun deals bonus elemental damage based on your action skill element which will be uh, incendiary most of the time but we'll talk more about that an 18% bonus is very solid all of these work very well together to deal increased elemental 
physical damage as we talked about in the beginning and if you're fighting like a specific boss that is weak to a certain elemental type damage like especially incendiary this will help out a lot and then one other thing with this tree as you can see we still have 22 points which we will make good use of coming up here in just a sec but i would recommend going for this one right here equip that one because as you can see right there um you summon a giant fist that bursts from the ground and locks the target that's pretty much the same as up top however enemies near the grasped target that's sort of hard to say are linked and any damage dealt to a linked target is shared between all other linked targets which if you couple that with the singularity bringing in those enemies together making that link even more effective is very very good especially when link damage is 35 percent of damage dealt you've also got like that ricochet effect the spread of status effect damage it works out very very well and i think it works out better than this one right here which is just like a straight up damage effect i would much rather prefer this one right here because again it works well with all of these other skills and then moving on here guys since we do have 22 more points to go over let's put it into another tree i would mainly focus on this tree but actually we'll talk a little bit about this tree you want to get a little bit of this one but i'll explain why in just a sec first of all guys let's talk about this i would recommend maxing out these five to move on to the next tree because applying a status effect grants a stack of rush and with our buffs to status effects and all of that you know that works out pretty well and then on top of that you can go down here and get uh both of these are actually pretty solid i would max out this one for sure because cooldown rate 25 percent that's very solid especially since our action skill down here only has a cooldown of 18 seconds which is actually pretty fast that just makes it even shorter which is solid on top of that go ahead and get this right away which just increases all action skill augments solid to have but we still need more so i would get these three right here which is just an overall increase to uh, accuracy and critical hit damage for a few seconds after activating your action skill which goes hand in hand with the reduced cooldown right right here very good overall but we still need one more so you know you can sort of put it anywhere it doesn't really matter maybe just put it here if you want i mean again we're just trying to get down to uh this one right here which i think is pretty good increased gun damage you can get two of those now the reason i say to maybe get two is because we actually want to save five points for this tree right here but before that just again going over this one this effect is increased after she activates her action skill for a few seconds which is great overall increased gun damage can't go wrong with that i do wish we could put one more point in there but i do recommend going back to this one and getting three of these and also two of these right here now the reason for that is because that then unlocks the corrosive damage action skill element now you may not be using this one all the time in fact i do recommend still sticking with that incendiary damage for the most part but if you happen to run into a specific boss that has a good weakness to corrosive damage you can simply switch out the incendiary with this one and you will have that bonus work out very well or maybe you have a uh, enemy that is resistant to incendiary damage you're going to be wasting a ton of damage continuing to use incendiary so switching it out with um this one right here corrosive can help you out a lot of the time so that is why i recommend that and also these ones are fairly solid overall like this one right here amara's weapon shots deal bonus damage based on the distance to her target the closer the target the greater the bonus up to 36 percent i would honestly recommend getting that one anyways because of how good that can be and also this one right here i mean you can put two in either this one or this one depends on which one you want maybe increased health but regenerating health is fine to have especially in between battles so yeah guys overall that is the build i would recommend for dealing a great amount of elemental damage and i mean going over these ones like this one is pretty good as well i just think a couple of these other ones are better especially when we can start to build into this tree a little bit and then get that uh, action skill element with this tree as well and then also with that i didn't go into this tree very much because it has a lot to do with health and if you guys know how i like to play i don't like to focus on builds that have to do with increasing health simply because i don't find it really that useful especially when you're going to be for the most part focusing on shields a lot of the times you'll end up with a shield that helps protect you from even losing health in the first place and also regenerating health can be tough unless you have like a really specific build for it or built around it but as of right now with the skill points we have i feel like you don't really get enough to make it worthwhile maybe we'll look into some of these other ones like for a later build focused on increasing health i mean like this one is pretty solid as well but you have to go all the way down to here and also this one i'm not a huge fan of i mean a melee build would be pretty good with uh this skill right here especially when you got like that plus 100 but overall again you have to put your points somewhere to get there and i would much rather have the elemental damage for focusing on you know weakness of bosses and things like that so yeah if you found this video helpful be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and also check out my other builds for the other characters i've got them for every character in the game so far
are helping you guys out with some great builds all around. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I will see you in the next one.